Hey, it's Anne Emery. We're going to get into some really fun stuff with this lesson, a really important technique called if. If is for recategorizing values. Let's say that we have this original list of types of fruit, but we want to recategorize it. The first categorization that we're going to do is just apples versus everything else. And the next one we're going to do is all the fruits versus all the vegetables. So we're going to take our raw data in column A and we're going to create two new variables in columns B and C. So first, let's take apples versus everything else. We'll pretend that you are an apple researcher, you're an apple number cruncher, you don't care about the bananas and the carrots and the watermelons. You just want to look at this group compared to all those other things as a whole. Okay, so that's where if comes in. Type in equals if, open your parentheses. This one takes a little bit of time to master because there are all of these steps in the process. So first we need a logical test. That means we have to say, okay, this original value, is it greater than a certain value? That's only for numbers. Is it less than? Nope, that's for numbers. We're dealing with letters here. If it equals apple, we have to type in quotation marks because it's not a cell reference. There's no like cell that we're trying to match here. Okay, so if A2 is apple, comma, what should we do next? If then, what should we do if it's true? What should we do if it's false? So if A2 is apple, then let's just leave it as apple, comma. If it's not an apple, let's call it other. Close the parentheses, press enter, and we get a result of apple. And then we simply drag this down the column, and you can see the others say other because we instructed our computer to do that. Okay, let's try one more. We're going to categorize these into fruits or vegetables. Equals if, this one's going to get a little bit longer, if this thing is an apple, then call it a fruit. If it's not an apple, it could be one of these things. So if this thing is a banana, we're gonna call that a fruit. But if it's not, we have to open up another if statement. If this cell right here is a carrot, then we're gonna call that a vegetable. But if not, we have to open up yet another if statement. These are all nested. It's if with an if with an if with an if. Uh, okay, so if it is a, if cell A2 is a watermelon, then call that a fruit. Otherwise, if it's not any of those things, we'll just leave it blank at the end. Let's see, how many opening parentheses do we have? We have one, two, three, four. So we need to have four closing parentheses. One, two, three, four. It's nice how they're color coded too, and the last one is always going to be black, or at least on the last couple versions of Excel, they've always done it like that. So let me take off the fourth parenthesis and watch real quickly Watch right here, and as I type it, it's going to be black and bold for just a split second. It's going to look like a thick parenthesis. Just for a second, it was there. That's how you know you're done and you have enough of them at the end. Okay, so this is an apple, so we get fruit. Let's see if we got it right or if we have a typo someplace. Fruit, fruit, vegetable, fruit, phew. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can also do these using VLOOKUP. We'll create a separate table that categorizes these things already, and then we'll connect those two tables with the power of a lookup formula.